In this video, we're going to find the arc or a length when we're given either the sector area or the arc length. So, in some ways, we're going to work backwards on these questions. So, the first thing, as it says up here in these steps, is first you've got to, you've got to pick the correct formula. So, for this first question here, I'm given the sector area, so it would make sense to use the sector area formula. So, I'm going to write that down first. So, we know sector area formula, angle over 360 times pi r squared. Now remember you don't get given that in your exam, so you're going to have to learn it. Second uh, point is sub in my values I know. So the area I know is 15 centimetres, so we're going to have 15. Angle is called x over 360 times pi times 3.5 squared. Okay, so now I have an equation here. I simplify and rearrange to solve. So what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to move that 360. So it's on the bottom of a fraction, so if I multiply both sides by 360, it's going to move to the other side, and it's going to times that 15. So if I do that, I'm going to get 5,400 is equal to x times pi times 3.5 squared. Now, to get x on its own, I need to move the pi and the 3.5 squared. And they are multiplying the x, so to move them to the other side, I do the opposite. There we go, going to move that there. And if I do 5,400 divided by in brackets, let's put those in brackets, shall we? Pi times 3.5 squared, I'm going to get x is going to be 140.316 dot dot dot. So to three significant figures, it would be 140 degrees. Okay, let's look at the second example here. This time we're given an arc length and we need to work out a radius. So if that's the case, I'm going to have to use the arc length formula. And that was L is equal to angle over 360 times pi D. So what have we got? Well, uh, the length here of the arc is 13. So put that down there. The angle is 30. 360 times pi, now times d, well, it's saying the radius is x, so d must be two lots of x, two times x, okay? So as before, I'm going to multiply by 360 to both sides to get that off the bottom, and if I do that, I'm going to get 4,680 on this side, and then I'm going to get 30 times pi times 2 times x. Now, to get x on its own, well, I need to get rid of the 30 times pi times 2, so I'm going to divide both sides by that. Okay, so I'm going to divide by 60 pi, I suppose. That's what I'm doing. And if you put that into your calculator, you're going to get x is equal to 24.8. 0.828 dot 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 so x is equal to to three significant figures 24.8 meters